Imagine waking up in a world you don't understand, discovering a family you never expected, and then leaving them to protect the very life you have come to cherish. That's the bittersweet journey at the heart of the wild robot. But why does Rose, our robotic protagonist, leave her newfound family and the island she calls home? And what does this say about humanity, nature, and the bonds that transcend our programming? In this video, we are diving deep into the ending of the wild robot, exploring its hidden messages, open-ended mysteries, and what it might mean for a potential sequel. Let's break it down piece by piece. So let's begin. First, let's look at Roz's journey. The wild robot follows Roz, transforms from a cold, task-driven machine into a nurturing mother and friend. A relationship with her adopted son, Bright Bill, marks the heart of the story, revealing a robot that grows to understand love and sacrifice. By the end, Roz makes a tough choice, leaving the island and her newfound family to prevent further attacks by Universal Dynamics, the company that created her. It's a selfless act and she sacrifices her home to protect the animals she's come to love. In a way, Rose's journey feels bittersweet. She recognizes the island as a true home, but she also knows that staying would put everyone in danger. Leaving is her way of ensuring her family's safety, even if it means abandoning the life she has come to cherish. But here is the twist. The ending hints that Rose may not be gone for good. Several characters suggest her departure could be temporary, setting up the tantalizing possibility of a return. I mean, who doesn't love a robot with an escape plan? Now, you might wonder what happens to the island animals once Rose is gone. Initially, the island's creatures were wary and even aggressive toward one another. But as Roz helped them survive winter, a truce emerged. By the end, they are no longer just a bunch of wild animals, they have become a community. Right Will, Roz's adopted son, and Pink, former troublemaker, both grow into leaders thanks to Roz's influence. Right Will officially steps up, leading his flock as a tribute to Longneck, his mentor who sacrificed himself. This unity among the animals isn't just heartwarming, it's a hint at what Roz has left behind. The island is now a place of peace and cooperation, a rare haven in what we learn is a harsh, changed world. It's like Rose's love planted seeds of harmony that may continue to grow even in her absence. So, in the end, Rose's legacy on the island is as powerful as her presence. While Rose is creating harmony on her island, the world beyond tells a darker story. The wild robot utterly presents a world impacted by what we can only assume are years of environmental decline. Coastal locations like San Francisco are flooded, cities seem abandoned, and Rose's world is harsh, with storms fiercer than ever. These glimpses suggest a future where humanity has retreated into sick, psyche is cities, leaving much of the planet abandoned. It's airy, isn't it? Imagine what could have driven humanity to that point. This dystopian hint adds depth to the story, grounding it an unsettling reality. Rose's journey becomes more than just a personal story of motherhood. It's a reflection on how nature, despite being abandoned by humanity, can still foster life, resilience, and unity. These unresolved elements leave the door wide open for a sequel, sparking curiosity about Rose's fate and the world she left behind. If you felt the wild robot ended on a cliffhanger, you are not alone. Rose's departure and hints of her eventual escape practically beg for a sequel. The source material, after all, has sequels that dive even deeper into Rose's story and the world's state. Potential follow-up would explore her return, her battles with Universal Dynamics, and the animals' continued growth and challenges. Imagine a storyline where Roz reunites with Bright Will and faces even greater threats. That's a sequel I think we'd all want to see. At its heart, The Wild Robot is more than a survival story. It's a tale about love, motherhood, and the resilience of nature. Through Roz, we are reminded that even the most unfeeling creations can evolve with love. It's a powerful commentary on humanity's disconnect with nature, urging us to rethink our priorities and appreciate the natural world. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you are interested in exploring more intriguing storylines and have watched Long Legs movie and want to understand it deeply, then click the link on the screen to watch my Long Legs movie explanation. I've explained everything in detail. Thank you for watching.